Hello all, welcome to 100bytes.com. In this video, we are going to see how to configure a two-way SSL in WebLogy server. In the last video, we have seen how to configure a one-way SSL. So what is two-way SSL? Two-way SSL is like where both server and client present certificates to each other to prove their authenticity. So this requires a server-side configuration as well as client-side configurations. Like in the server side, we are using a JKS that is Java key store. For the client side, the, uh, the client is as a browser and the browser uses its, uh, its their own key store actually. So like, uh, so before proceeding, please go through the video which, uh, which I have uh, posted last time. That is like a configuring one way SSL. I have also placed the link below this video as well. So in that we in that video we I have shown the server side configuration that is for one way SSL. It is a continuation for the two way SSL. So like that video covers the server side configuration. This video is going to cover the client side configuration as well as uh, configuring the server side for the two way SSL. Okay. Uh, Okay, let me explain this in a picture like what is two-way SSL. Okay, so here server and the client. In the server side, uh, we have uh, this part we have already set up in the last video. Let me explain it again. So in the server store, we have a both uh, we have generated a public private key pair, and uh, and we also have a. a, a CA trust store where we have generated a certificate and the certificate is copied to the server trust store and using this certificate we have signed the public key of the server store and copied into a, the same server store um, uh, with a CA certificate as well as the signed certificate that is called certificate replay okay so this blue color one is the server certificate which is signed by a uh, ca certificate and the purple color one is a ca certificate there is a legends over in the below this you can see this and this uh, picture is already i uploaded in the 100 bytes.com that link also i given in the below video okay let's come to the uh, client side in the client side also uh, for the client side trust store we have to copy the ca certificate to the client trust store because in our case uh, same Certificate is trusted by both server and client. So it is require it is necessary to uh, sign the uh, public key of a client side store with a CA certificate which server trust. So uh, so so the, which will produce us here the another certificate which is in a uh, yellow color. I have mentioned that. So you can see that both client and server are set up key stores. Okay. During communication client will present the its own certificate that is in yellow color and the server will present in the blue color so uh, the each each of these uh, entities will verify uh, verify the certificate verify the authenticity by this ca certificate which is stored in their uh, their own respective trust store that is for server it is in server trust store for the client client trust store okay that is, this is the thing where uh, how the two ways will work okay let's get into the practical okay now we are going to set up a client store uh, like uh, so here this is the key where we are it's, we are going to uh, generate the key pair so our uh, uh, subject is 100 bytes client organizational unit organization city state and country yes okay now we have generated the key pair this command will uh, produce a csr that is certificate signing request and we have to submit it to the ca that okay now you can see that uh, we are going to generate the certificate with alias root ca uh, if you see the last video uh, where the one way ssl is configured in the server side configuration also we have generated the uh, certificate uh, by alias root ca which is going to sign the uh, like a client side certificate this is the same which we we have did the same thing in a server side as well so now the certificate is generated this command will import the uh, uh, root ca certificate that is like you can see 100 bytes admin this is the root ca certificate into the client store okay and this command is to import the certificate which is which we just generated uh, for the uh, for the uh, for the client side that is 100 bytes client certificate uh, which we call as a certificate replay 
and this is a, some special command where we need to convert the uh, key store into the pkcs12 format uh, like you can see that our source key store is client jks and the destination key store is a pkcs12 p12 and we have to specify the destination store type is a pkcs12 this is required because browser key store will accept only pkcs12 format uh, where PKC store format is a special format where it can store both a uh, private key and public key in a single file and we, uh, we need to import that into the server's uh, browser side key store. Okay, as I, as I mentioned that already we have configured a one-way SSL in the last uh, video. So in this, we, uh, you can see that I just uh, connected to my uh, weblogic server where you can see uh, like a, uh, the certificate information it is 100 bytes admin it's verified by 100 bytes and admin certificate information is certificate path is local host and it's 100 bytes admin which is verification certification path and even you can see it in the issuer uh, is 100 bytes admin and in the subject it is local host okay so this is actually currently in one uh, one way SSL is configured let's configure the two way SSL actually okay so I'll log in And we have to go to the servers. So we have configured in, uh, configured in admin server. So let's go to the same. So you can see that SSL SSL listen port is enabled and it is 7002. And in the key stores tab, uh, we have the custom identity that this is server side setup, custom identity uh, key store and the custom trust key store. So these already these all those things I have explained in the last video that is where configuring one way SSL and the next is the SSL key tab uh, this is uh, and here also we provide the private key for the uh, server that is 100 byte server okay and now in the this is okay now this is the one where we are going to make a two way SSL just a simple configuration one is you uh, sell the user source and the next is uh, client source requested and enforced that means like the client uh, client sets client certificates are requested and it enforce that uh, if the certificate is not valid then you can't access the website okay now let's save this one okay uh, then let me log out now i have opened a new window where we will try to log into the this local host 7002 okay now you see that certificate based authentication failed so here you can if you read this one the server also tried to present some certificates from the browser key store but that was not accepted by the server okay let's try to import our uh, the certificate which we just now we have uh, created so this is a certificate import import wizard for the browser key store browse in all files we are in already in client store client pkcs12 next it will ask for password because the private key is there next 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 so import is successful and you can see 100 bytes client see that issued to 100 bytes client and issued by 100 bytes admin okay and if you open it you can see that you have a private key that correspond to the certificate the, the same thing we haven't seen in the earlier uh, earlier certificates okay so in the details the issuer is 100 bytes admin and the subject is 100 bytes client and the certification path is you can see 100 bytes client 100 bytes admin okay so click ok close now let's try it again okay now you, you see the pop-up 100 bytes client uh, client pop-up that is actually this is the subject of that certificate so where we, we can able to submit this certificate click ok now it's success that is two SSL is now it's working so you can see a green color thing and even the server certificate if you want to verify you can verify that the same certificate is we used to sign the client side as well so because of this, the same uh, CS certificate we used in both and uh, client side. So using that, we have configured two SSL. Thanks for watching this.
please tune into the 100 bytes youtube channel for more videos and more tutorials you can find it in the 100bytes.com thank you